We both win. How long have you been here? Um, a day. A day. That's it. Still jet lag? No. <laughs> you cracked me up, man. <laughs> Is this your first time to show you? Uh, yes, and I love it. Yeah. I love every bit of it. Yes, I have a great country here, but it's nice. Yeah. This is Very good. Now, uh, you ever thought about coming to Australia before this? No, I, you know, so far, and all you see is, um, you know, Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. So he's like, I'm going go there for bats and uh, crocodiles be jumping out of the water. Yeah. But it's so, it's just like, this is not, I guess, you know, this is amazing. It's so beautiful. Back home, would you live in LA? Uh huh. So, so. Yeah. But this is, a, I'm not sure, were you, were you actually born in Cuba or in New York? I just made all that shit up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Build some hype about yourself, you know, get people talking. <laughs> my father was a sailor, so we traveled everywhere. So, yeah. um, New York, everywhere, New York, um, San Diego, it's like, ugh, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You got a big family? Um, no, it's just, uh, two younger sisters. Yeah. They were born in the States. Yeah. <laughs> in America. <laughs> They're American citizens. <laughs> <laughs> now you you started out in comedy, right? Started out doing stand up comedy. Yeah. And um I was about fourteen, about to be fifteen and uh I I was in New York and um visiting and I saw Eddie Murphy on te television. I told my uncle that's what I wanted to do right there. And uh, when I got back to California, I was telling my um, my best friend Earl, um Hey, I'm gonna be a stand-up doing stand-up comedy. He says, "Oh, I know this place in La Jolla that does stand." You know, you know. So we called and they said they had this thing called potluck, yeah. where you you know our amateurs can go up on Monday, just call in before three o'clock, and um, get your name on the list. Because I was 14, I had to wait outside, and then um, I couldn't go on until it was time for me to go on. So. Um, they, they would call my name, be listening, and then go straight to the stage, come right back out. Did you win? Oh, it wasn't a contest. It was okay. just, you know, just, just be Pop funny. Up. But I did, I used to, <laughs> they had a comedy comp, you, uh, they had a comedy competition, and uh, when I moved to Los Angeles, I was about 19, and um, they, had, they would have this comedy competition. And you win like three hundred bucks, and eh, I, I would people I would win it all the time. They think they think it was rigged. <laughs> <laughs> this is one guy won it. I don't know. I don't know yeah, I don't, that's how I would pay my phone bill and my, my little rent. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now with comedy, you went into films. One of my favorite films, Friday. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Big you're, you're like the only one down here that knows that. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. Too Friday? many people. That is. That is that is one of the most thing is it's 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 sort of like podcasting. Some right. people think it's a particular type of film because it's full of black people. Oh right, 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 right. So they won't watch it. Right, but right. That movie is freaking hilarious. Oh yeah, back then. I see Chris Tucker back then. Oh yeah, yeah. Big one, yeah, we were, um, <laughs> Everybody. We were. Uh, yeah, we were. You know, we were out there. I think I did that one. Twenty two, twenty three. Chris was like. Something like that. Um, I've been knowing Chris since he first stepped on stage in yeah. Atlanta, and uh, it, that movie was like this kind of movie. We just working with a bunch of friends. We all loved Ice Cube back then. Yeah. And um, you don't now? No. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 he's such, Gotta love Cube. Such a good guy. Yeah. Such Cube was such a. Uh, I'm telling you, to come to the premiere of this. Yeah. This is more his style. Cube's a nerd. Yeah. He's not what you think he is. No, I don't think, I've loved Cube's music since I was a kid. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. I know that there's, with actors and rappers, the same as a persona, and then there's a way that yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, there's all this, you know, there's a persona and all this. But he's such a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, you've also been, like, with with Vince and John, you've done a few things. Because replacements you were in with John. Right. And then made, you were in both of them. You were right. in Alf with John directed. Right. 
right? Right. right. Uh, now, you've did you? How did you build a relationship with these? Right? Like, is it coincidental that you've made now like two, three films with each guy, or do you just get to know each other? And well, we John and I got to know each other on replacements, and we just became inseparable. Yeah. So when we, uh, when we stopped doing replacements, um, I mean, the day we wrapped, we were hanging out in L.A. What are you doing? And then um, he introduced me to to Vinny, and uh, I had birth and we just hung out every night. And then, then he had wrote May, so he, he's like, "Look, we're going to same thing. We're going to do this movie. I wrote this movie, da, da. and now Chris Tucker was actually supposed to play a role in it." Uh -huh. and, um, he, uh, he said, I'm too busy, man. <laughs> yeah, he did three films now, all three, four films. I uh, know. He ended up doing, um, yeah, he, he ended up doing Reese Effin from um, Place that was supposed to do it. So it ended up being Sean Combs. But uh, when we got back to LA, we started hanging, and I met Vinny, and we just was like, we were just inseparable. Yeah. So um, Elf came along. Um, because uh, someone dropped out of it, and then um, Amy Irving, at a conversation, John was saying that he would like to do what he would, you know, cast how he wanted, but the studio sees yeah. a certain thing. Yeah. And um, Amy Irving said, and he, like he says, I'm doing, I'm doing this movie called Elf now, and I have nowhere to put phase on. And Amy Irvin says, no, you can put Faze on anywhere in there. Yeah. She gave me, paid me a huge compliment. Yeah. So John went to start shooting Elf, and um, it was so funny because the woman that was supposed to play my part in Elf was a black woman, but she, I don't know what happened. She wanted, I don't know what happened. She wanted too much money or who knows. Yeah. And um, John was like, you think you can do this? I was like, oh, I'd kill that. So I was like, it was small enough where the studio was like, it's not going to kill us, but you know, let's see. So, flew me up and you know, we, we just had a ball on that. Yeah. And um, this came about a couple years ago, John and Vince was like, I'm writing this script about couples, you know, because I was going through a little bit of what, what Shane is going through. Yeah. So he goes, I'm writing this. Thing. It's trust me. It's it's you, but it's gonna be a different side of you. No one's ever seen this before. So okay, let me see the script. And working on the script, working on the script. So finally, I I knew I was doing the movie because my name was in the trade. <laughs> I was like, yes, so you found I guess we're doing it. <laughs> then I read the script and I fell in love with the script. And like I said, it's we didn't think it, I knew it was gonna be this huge or thing. I thought it was you know what. You know, I, you know, Vince and John hadn't done Iron Man at that point. Yeah. He had just, when he finished the script, I think he had just finished Iron Man. Yeah. And Iron Man wasn't out. I remember at the premiere of Iron Man, John, uh, me, <laughs> we were all at the premiere, and um, Vince goes, uh, he's got to see an Iron Man. I was like, that was amazing. He said, yeah, it was amazing. The way we do couples and tree. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, all right, all right. And you know, soon after that, we started this. What was it like working on Couples Retreat with, you know, you had such an ensemble cast there? Oh, it was, it was just, you know, I, I hadn't worked with Jason, and Jason is so cool. We call him Jason fucking Bacon. Yeah. <laughs> so um, he he's so cool that... Um, it, it just kind of gelled together, you know, Marlon Ackman, yeah. um, Christian Davis, Christian Bell, they were all so cool, you know. They yeah. have Kelly Hawk, the new girl, um, going to this island, it wasn't like it was work, it was more like it was, uh, like when I saw the movie, I was like, damn, we did that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because it's, you work with professionals, everyone has an agenda, to do the best job yeah. and not to be, you know, it wasn't like, okay, today it would be funnier than Jason. Like, okay, today I'm supposed to set Jason up with a joke, boom. Yeah. Or today I'm supposed to come in, you know, it's a sad day for me. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you, it's all for the, so the, it's also the, the team can score the big one. Yeah.